Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Brewski reaction. This one's called The Doctor's Visit. Let's get into this right now. Go watch the original video. Go subscribe to Brewski Films. Make sure like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And let's get it in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Alright, now like most people, I'm not a big fan of going to the doctor. Now, Mine is a, a dentist. Contract, but every time I step into a doctor's office, I just assume the worst. Well, we got your test results back. Looks like you got butthole cancer. Butthole cancer? <laughs> oh no, not that! Yep, afraid so. So in the meantime, we're gonna shove this 30-pound camera up your rectum, and we're gonna take a look around. Now, of course, that's never been the oh, case. Oh boy. That doesn't mean it couldn't happen, so I just avoid the doctor altogether. That is until one day my dad gave me a call, and he was like, Hey, asshole, you know skin cancer runs in our family, right? You need to go get yourself checked checked out and make sure you don't have melanoma or some shit. Oh Naturally, boy. I do what I always do. I don't make the fucking appointment and just hope for the best. But my wife, on the other hand, is much more responsible and she makes the appointment for oh, me. Oh boy. Here I am in the reception area for this dermatologist. Uh, hi, I'm here to see if I'm dying or not. Uh, okay, well, before we tell you that, you need to fill out all this paperwork. So now I'm sitting there oh, filling boy. out the paperwork, feeling like an idiot trying to explain why I'm here in the Got first Got lupus? Place. Not to mention I had no idea how the hell it spelled melanoma. For whatever reason, I thought there was like an H in there somewhere. Like it was Mela. Hanoma. I mean, I tried to Google it, but even Google was like, uh, did you mean mahogany? What the hell are you trying to spell? That shit looks like Portuguese. So finally, they call me in the doctor's office, and I'm sitting there looking at all the stupid posters on the wall. But then I Lotion your the shit. Next to me, I realized that there's a fucking bottle of lube on top of it. What the hell does a dermatologist need a bottle of lube for? <laughs> lube. Out, I can tell you that. So here comes the doctor, strolling in all nonchalant. Hey, how's it going? What brings you in today? Uh, my dad said I need to see if I have melanoma or some shit. Um, hello? Huh? What? I'm checking your fucking face to see if there's any moles that might be cancerous. Why don't oh, you go boy. Ahead and take your shirt off for me. So, per the doctor's request, I take my shirt off so he can oogle me. And at this point, the atmosphere in the room has taken a very unfortunate sexual turn. I'm half naked. There's a fucking bottle of lube on the desk. He's not looking too good. Uh, you're not gonna make me take my fucking pants off, are you? No, you pervert. What's the matter with you? Hey, how long have you had this mole here on your back? Uh, what are you talking about? Here, give me your phone. I'll take a picture of it. So, I handed my phone. That's when I realized I still got the fucking mahogany search page up. Now I really look like an idiot. Boy, you were way fucking off. You put an H in there? What are you speaking fucking Portuguese? <laughs> you see that? I mean, it's fucking nothing. Hilarious. You probably have that mole removed. Uh, okay. So, do we have to do, like, surgery? What? Surgery? No, we're not doing a fucking cesarean section. What's the matter with you? I just numb the area and I cut it out. Oh my god, you cut it out? Does it hurt? No, you idiot. I just told you I numb the area. Look, like I said, it's probably nothing. There's a lot of over-analysis in this field of mine. Uh, you mean like Damn. a doctor? Oh yeah, it's a bunch of bullshit. Like, for example, my doctor said he found spots in my lungs on my last CT scan. Whoa, what? Wait a minute, doctors have doctors? What the hell? So I told Bill, you can go to hell. There's no spots on my lungs, you're full of shit. And that was ten years ago, so what does that ten say? Ten years. Uh, that you were right? You're goddamn right I was. So now there I am, no shirt on, hunched over a fucking bench, getting sliced open by the doctor. And he's trying to make the moment a little less awkward with casual conversation. So, uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I make cartoons for the internet? Cartoons, huh? Like, uh, like Walt Disney? Uh, yeah. Uh, prettier and, uh, well, less anti-Semitic, I guess. Less effort. Oh, well, I don't know anything about internet cartoons. Uh, well, you probably should, considering you're about to be one. What? Nothing, nothing. Uh, are we gonna start anytime soon? What are you talking about? I'm done already. Now put your goddamn shirt back on, you pervert. What the hell's the matter with you? So we walk back out to the reception area to get checked well, out. Well, that was right, it. We're gonna send a skin sample to the lab and get it analyzed. If it's bad news, we'll give you a call. And if it's good news, well, we don't really give a shit, so we're not gonna call you at all. Bye-bye. And that was the end of my appointment. So now I'm just sitting around the house these days, in limbo, not knowing what to think. And with my hypochondriac ass, I know it's just a matter of time before I get that phone call. Hey, it's me, your doctor. Bad news. You got butthole cancer. You need to come down here so I can shove a camera up your ass. A oh, no. Up my ass. Oh, God damn it. That's what the lube was for. Yep. Brewstew.com. Alrighty. Alright, guys. Go watch the original video, go subscribe to Bruce Dude Films, make sure you like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share, and all the good jazz if you like this reaction, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys, thanks for watching, deuces.